I have a very, very special treat for you guys. We have a completely new character of a, the seaside characters. Uh, these are going to be repented characters. Looks like we have our normal moveset, move, attack by holding. I have a weird sword, let go what happens. Looks like it works like knife, very cool. This is repented Azazel, by the way. Bomb is regular, item is regular. There's also depravity and fall. Fall. So I know very, very little about this character, but there are some things as I know. First of all, uh, my damage is nasty. Holy. Uh, this comes from the mind and uh, possibly even a full team. I'm not too sure yet. Of uh, Lily. They did Kalem, if you remember that, and a couple cool other mods. And this is basically the concept for a new seaside character called Repented Characters. And obviously in theme, if this is Azazel and he's all holy, and look at how cool those wings look, by the way. Then obviously Azazel repented, right? That's super cool. I love the theming there. Now there's only one thing that I know about this character and it's that if you decide to forego your whole repenting moment and take a devil deal, you turn dark. And that's all I know. I really don't know the rest. So I'm gonna try and figure out all of this. Looks like we start with three black hearts, lower the normal base damage, but obviously I have mom's knife, that doesn't matter. Normal tier rate, normal speed. And in here we have a damage up, very cool, epic. And obviously we start with flight as well. We have this cool like mom's knife, but not mom's knife. It's more like a holy saber type thing. What's in the shop? The shop has an item that I don't want. Isn't that cool? So what I truly want to know is I'm on the next floor. Well, hopefully I have hearts for it, right? Range down kind of sucks, whatever. Uh, I'm hoping that I will be able to get a couple soul hearts and be able to take a devil deal. Let's see, you can get red hearts? You can. So I'm pretty sure that's how that works is Azazel too, right? Just in general. Azazel starts with black hearts, but can still get red hearts, I believe, right? Red chest, red chest. Nice, couple soul hearts. This pill is explosive diarrhea. That's fine, and I think it's time for us to go. Okay, so next floor, let's try taking a devil deal and see what happens. Immediate boss. I have health for a devil. Do I have enough? Eh, it's okay. Let's take the petrified poop. I'm sure by me exploring, I will gain HP more than lose it. It's only dross. I basically have knife. I'll be okay. Quick, cut to when I'm gonna get hit. Ow. Uh, champion's belt. That's just kind of good, right? And then while I also want hive mind, I don't have any flies. I want to stack up an HP to see what this whole uh, devil deal scenario is all about. My reward is decap attack. Yikes. I will take the blind no matter what. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Oh, I don't think it does anything. Oh, that's okay. Uh, you know why? Uh, Hamilacri is still decent here though, because we actually just get a fat base damage up. I think it was like plus four or something. So here's what we're waiting for. Hopefully I actually can uh, pay for a deal. That sprite is awesome. That looks cool. The wings covering himself. I'm exploding blub currently. Tears up. So what? what is in here? Okay, damage up. Ocular Rift is probably the best thing here, but part of me just wants base damage. Ocular Rift would be cool though. So, we turn evil. Uh, I don't know what's actually physically different. Obviously, I visually look different as well. I look more Azazel-like. Can't take dark matter, don't have the health. Does anything look different when I shoot? <laughs> Uh, is it just like a fat range down? Maybe that's the punishment, right? It does look like a bit more of a puny knife, to be honest with you. And I did remember my stats going down. Maybe it's just a fat stats down. So now what I'm curious about is, is there a way for me to kind of amend myself, right? So taking a devil deal, obviously, uh, I'm evil now. Ooga booga. But what happens if maybe I use like a sacrifice room or something, you know what I mean? Can I turn back to Angel Azazel? Get my range back? If so, I mean, uh, that's a very interesting concept. If not, I'd say just go angel runes. I, w I actually don't know what happens if you go to angel runes with this character. 40 hour energy is okay, good to know. But in here, what I'm curious about is this. Oh man, I kinda want sad bombs. I think that was the better choice. Okay, cool. Gives me more bombs. Maybe it synergizes with Haymalacria more so I can get some uh, synergies out the gate and maybe uh, get more damage going. More bomb, petrified poop, pan out like crazy. I need keys though. This is a problem. I need to unlock my way into the whole shop scenario. You know what's interesting? Wait a second. Uh, well, that's also interesting to be fair. I think when I went into the curse room, I lost luck. I don't see anything else in my inventory that would make it so the moment I enter, by the way, sad bombs does work, which is cool. I enter a room and I just get luck down. I think this character and possibly all repented characters in the future 
highly benefit from doing holy acts. I'm very curious here. I, I, I want a key. Maybe I can go to the shop, donate money, find another sacrifice room. Let's see if we can uh, change fate here. I was watching EVO recently because there's a bunch of finals going on. Shoutouts to Leffen for being the GOAT and just destroying two EVOs, including Guilty Gear. Hey, that's cool. Nice. We can actually check in here to see if there's a restock in advance. There's not, so we know that whatever's in that shop in the normal dimension, that's all we have to look forward to. I wonder if, if, hold on, if entering a curse room, which is typically, I would say, an evil act, right, reduces your luck, do I get anything for blowing you up? No. Okay, good to know. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm basically trying to work with the game here and figure out what, what dictates uh, repentant, right? Or, I mean, honestly, what if you just can't go back? What if, you know, you do it once and you're like, ah, you're evil. Too bad. Maybe I cannot amend my sins anymore. Anyway, we'll go ghost mode for the next floor. I didn't even fight clog on this? Wait a second. I thought I beat him. Give me another devil, I dare you. Okay, that's not actually what I wanted. I'll check it, I guess. Ooh, do I get something for leaving? No. So once you've taken the devil, basically, you fall. We also have way too much money, a little bit of a rich moment. Uh, too bad these shops are complete ass cheekums. What makes you larger is whatever. I'll actually buy this key. Okay, let's see. Does donating do anything for me? I mean, I know donating in general will just give you luck, to be fair. Okay, well, not today. Tinted rock over here. I could have these guys exploded, but guess what? I have 10 bombs. That's not what I was expecting at all, but hey, range is something I need. It helps just the most minimal amount. There you go. I can actually play the- ah! I can actually play the game now. Guppy said is also carrying me, making sure that these little dudes that come up to me while I'm charging up the knife cannot mess with me. Feeling good. Give me that coin. Yoink. Alright, we have fra- What's with all the active items, man? <laughs> sure, I mean, like, uh, yay, it's a dude. Oh well, I can't complain. I kind of have knife and hamalacria. I want to test this. I am actually curious. Going in here, ah, makes you lose luck. Okay, I'm not crazy. This is actually a mechanic. Good to know. Let's go uh, out with the fool card. Okay, and that time I didn't even lose that much luck. I was like 0.1 or something, but it is something to know. We learned something about the character. I have not found a sacrifice room, nor have I even found the health to play a sac room in case I did find it. So that's going to be our main priority here. Secret room is obvious. This could be uh, soul hearts, if I'm lucky. Oh, oh. Oh, you're joking me. It hurts. What's the point of being good in the world if you get me things like Satanic Bible Incubus? I can't even take it. At least you guys will know what Incubus does. It's probably just a dude that holds a little stabby thing. Guys, you won't believe this. He actually gets a little stabby thing. Boss moment. Bambino. Goodbye. <laughs> And that is also one of the reasons why it truly just does not matter. Mother transformation is cool. I technically didn't even get the deal. Uh, I think we're good. We'll go. I double chance this time. Still no hearts. I, I don't know if this is like a repented Azazel thing or I'm just unlucky. But I feel like I'm trying my best. And I'm just not receiving the soul hearts necessary to facilitate a win. We did receive a couple range ups, so I feel a lot better about the whole thing. Something of note is actually the fact that I have, yes, mother transformation. And my knife that's behind me is also a little brim, like, stabby thing. Look at that. A little nice attention to detail. I like that. I'm at a pretty low point right now, boys. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm blowing up single blue fires for a soul heart. That's how you know you're down bad. If you ever see your friend trying to bomb open a single blue fire with a single bomb for a soul heart, go and give them a hug. They're not feeling too good. My punishment for dealing with the devil was not only I turned into a less ranged dude, it's also the fact that I get no soul hearts. Uh, I have to risk these, right? I mean, the likelihood that one is bad trip would be more hilarious than anything, so I'll do it. Speed down. Oh boy. Pretty fly is actually kind of cool. That means this is also a pretty fly. I would say, honestly, that's worth it. Two pretty flies for a speed down, despite me being uh, below base currently. I'd say it's okay. In here, we have conjoined progress. I'd like to get conjoined with this kind of playstyle, see if it's any different. I'm hoping I shoot three of these things. A bomb for two blue fires. Ah, you know, they're, they're doing fine in life. Don't worry about them. You don't even need to hug them. A greed fight is instantly done, and it looks like all we have left to do is a uh, super secret, which I'm not finding that. How dare you even question me? Should be a mask of- I'm sorry, you're dead? Hello? Mask of infamy fight? I forgot I'm broken. I got another deal and I'm broke on hearts. I can't- Oh, wait, yeah, I can. Okay, let's see if there's any more downsides to taking another deal. 
Boom. Uh, no, I'm just, I'm just him. Also, why is my damage going up? Wait a second. Why is my damage going up? Wait a, wait, what? What am I doing to do this? Maybe there are deeper mechanics here that I don't know about. Maybe gaining soul hearts or black hearts gives you damage. Maybe taking multiple deals just gives you multiple damage ups that are incremental over time. Interesting. So what if the mechanic here, and of course I'll test it later so you guys actually know what's happening. I'm just trying to figure it out for myself as we go along. Maybe the mechanic here is that if you take an angel deal while you're angelified and repentant, then you get a boost some kind of stat boost, but if you take a devil deal while darkified, devil moment, then you get the stat boost. That, or maybe for some reason, the Sith Cloak just wanted to be a damage up, but really slowly. <laughs> Part of me kind of wants it to be that. I, I don't know why, but that just sounds really funny to me. I, like Sith Cloak just had a really slow day and just oh, it didn't feel like it. We use the chariots to go in the curse room. I don't care, point 10 luck down. Treasure room! Exciting! Pointy rib! This thing is better than most people think. Fun fact, if you walk into it, uh, like the direction that it's pointing, you deal more damage. Shoutouts to the Lon's Love for that one, I actually did not know. Well, I sure am dealing heap loads of damage. Hopefully these shops will be better. Look how much money I have. I have no reason to spend. That's mapping on my uh, top left, AKA my tarot card. Some may say it's the bottom right. Jumper cables. I guess it does something for me, right? It, it really ain't the most, but it's a reason to spend money. That's what I wanted. And a beggar. Beggar can give me HP up. This is worth. Not like I'm running money equals power or anything. I, I don't need it. Thank you. I'm wondering if other activities give me damage downs or damage ups, right? Like what if I play you? Nah, you're chill. You you just want it. You just want my hearts. No thanks. Final thing to check is this secret room, which will give us a better deal chance via blowing up that guy. Which will also give us pageant boy, which doesn't even feel worth it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, no. I'd rather- Oh, give me a dead cat. Yeah. If I had a dead cat, my life would be better. Oh well, let's go. I'm honestly having a lot of fun with the repented character theme. I'm curious as to how other repented characters would work, right? Like, what happens if Isaac, in theory, repents? Ooh. Delectable. Hello. I'm gonna say goodbye to mother and deal 7 billion damage. A soul heart's nice. Do I want to go down or up? Does this affect me? I don't think so. Let's take down. Let's see if my theory is correct. Let's say if I take another deal, do I just randomly start getting health for fun? Like, haha. Boom. Damage goes up normally and then that's it. Okay. Nothing else? I'll ask uh, the more finer details of the character so we can understand what's happening here. Cause I'm trying to pinpoint what's happening, but I can't tell. Maybe cause I'm dumb dumb. Racked crown. Well, petrified poop sure did what it needed to. Ah, it's a flat three damage up. I'm somewhat of a person they call lost. At least I got my secret room with magic mushroom. No! I'm kidding. <laughs> Me when I fight super envy and get like 7 billion charges cause of jumper cables. Shoop! Can you even drop Shoop the Whoop? I honestly forget what Super Envy drops. Isn't it forever alone? Holy chest. You know what? Sure. Give me some goodies. That's so epic of you. <laughs> well, we got an HP up from this giant prop. That's at least decent. Maybe it'll let me take another Devil Deal. I honestly, I haven't found a single sacrifice room. So even if I wanted to try it, I couldn't. I physically would not be able to. Most I could probably do is maybe a uh, Cathedral. But just kidding. <laughs> Well, see, now I don't know. <laughs> Just because I don't have health. How can I? I truly want to, don't get me wrong. I'm curious what happens, because that's the only way I can think of maybe going back to angel deals and seeing what happens when I take an angel deal. Soul Heart did drop. If I keep playing well, I could possibly do it. It's going to be tough. Man, do sack room or don't? I really don't know. How about I fight the boss at least, right? Let's see what happens with the boss. This could be all for nothing. I could just spawn the double room. Ah, I didn't. In fact, I got a soul heart back. Okay. All right. All right, man. Okay. I'm curious. I'm going to see if I can land you feel blessed on the uh, the sack room. I think there's two possibilities here, or rather three. Either one, you feel blessed turns me back to being holy. Two, taking an angel deal will turn me back to being holy. Or three, you just physically can't. This is the only one I'm going to go for. I got it, and I'm still a demon. Interesting. You know what? Let's go, and I'll just pop sun card next floor and go straight for hush how about that because that way uh, at least i know what i'm doing in that sense 
I could also just take the Emperor, which would entirely negate the whole bun rush hush, but I, the whole bars. But I think I'll be okay. I mean, it's a sun card. I have mom's knife. I'll be okay. Check the secret just because I can. Do I have time to check the other arcade, like right here? Probably not, but I'm doing it anyway. Oh, there's a crane game. I have to. I, I lost all of my t money. Every, every bit of money I've ever owned has gone to, like, gambling. I don't need that. Okay, time to go. Oh, we are not making out of the basement with this one. Ain't no way I'm making this. Oh, Lord. I gotta go a little bit too fast. I don't think I'm making this. It's gonna be a close one. Uh-oh. Okay, walk in, place a bomb. Try your best. Got it. No! Oh, my Lord. I can't believe I made that. That was so close. Get me in there. Hello, hush lad. Hey, that's cool. Hey, that's even cooler. Oh my god, that's cool. Can you complete the quadruple chest? <gasps> I can't believe it. That's actually never happened to me. I've always wanted the quad chest. That, this actually- ah! This solves my HP issue, except the damage I just took. Maybe next uh, floor, if I get cathedral, I don't know, sack room, I can actually use it. Uh, two, three, spun or roll all the rocks in here, because it'll be funny. Uh, and in this treasure room, it's- <laughs> Man, do I want piercing or piercing with my piercing? Uh, I, unironically, obviously, this is better because it gives me a little bit of a speed up, I guess. Coop on. Keep on keeping on. Uh, yeah, all right. Yippee. I get to have a free pill, which is Horf. Best Binding of Isaac play you've seen all day. Let's go. It looks like we're kind of chilling right now. We have good things to look forward to. I'm excited for the health that we gain. I'm excited for the dark room. I'm excited for spun. Holy moly. Okay, I think we're good if I stand right here. Every now and then I just remind myself that euthanasia is in my build and it stays goaded. I mean, this thing is just demolishing. I don't have a lot of speed. But that don't matter to me. One more hit. Don't do it, Hush. You're gonna regret it. Don't come up. He's gonna do it. I can feel it. Oh no! I just got my ankles broken by a triple. I don't know what he is. Oh well. Curse of the blind. Well, I'm glad it happened here, not the dark room. This is basically our last chance to see the sack room, and if we don't see it, then uh, I guess I won't know how things work until the video comes out. But honestly, it's super fun whenever that happens, because I get to do post-edit Matman things, and those are always fun. Soul Hearts? That's probably Cursed Eye. I'm taking it. Jacket. Bob's Curse. My bombs are broken. If you have a curse room, I'll know my 0 0.10 luck. Secret room found pretty initially. This is a fakie. I can just get that chest for free if I want. It's just money. I don't need it. Double curse room. I forgot I had voodoo. Yeah, sure. That's another item I don't know. I'll just do it. I got a luck up. Cool. And it's Curse of the Tower. Doesn't look like we're getting a sack room. Actually, maybe. I mean, this is kind of a huge floor, actually. A little bit of a diagonal shot moment. I keep getting... Hello? I keep getting everything. Not that I'm complaining. It's sick. Final thing to check is here. Watch, it's another item. Could you imagine? I haven't counted in a while. Elmo moment. Two, uh, three, and four. Did I do it right? There you go. Perfect, actually. Smaller tip is if you press the bomb, the moment uh, the sp uh, Satan's sprite becomes kind of like moving, you'll also time the second bomb perfectly. Let's go to the dark room. Anything cool? Lord of the Pit? Maybe. Kind of cool. Conjoined, Backstabber, Book of the Dead. I take you. Uh, I'll take you. And then we'll see if I want Lord of the Pit by the end of this. So quick review of the character because I finally figured out what everything does and I can finally explain it. First of all, they have a passive chance uh, to just turn things into the evil version of things. So, you know, red chests from chests, demon beggars from beggars. That's why I kept getting so many red chests. I knew it. Uh, they get a little bit of a fading damage up when you pick up black hearts, which is exactly the reason that I had ceremonial robes working with me. Yes, when you enter devil deals and curse rooms, you get a little bit of a luck down and one final thing to note we were wondering about the flip mechanic basically when you take a deal it irreversibly changes your mode from holy to unholy it increases your damage and decreases your range we saw that however if you have birthright it's reversed and by going to an angel deal which i'm gonna do right here we can actually turn back into angel repented azazel and that should be everything good to know book of revs hey Thanks for the soul heart. That makes me kind of just want to take Lord of the Pit right now. But uh, other than speed, it really wouldn't do anything for me. Now, Backstabber. This guy's my homie. Lifelong friend. Known him 50 years. He's kind of just that guy. 
I'm at, I find myself constantly getting confused between my stabby knife, Azazel moment, and my pointy rib. Just because I'm not used to having two. I keep thinking I didn't throw out my, my knife when it was actually just pointy rib doing its whole thing. I'm sorry! So, apparently, you really don't want to have Sab Bomb's Hamalacria Curse of the Tower with this character. Hey, cool, conjoined. Let's see what happens. Triple? Yeah. Because what happens is I lag the game if I get hit, like hardcore. <laughs> we are so broken, so much that I'm gonna press the tower in the lamb and see what happens as well. Because I think our sab bomb straight up just lagged my game beyond belief. I don't really know why, but that was kind of sick. I want to do more. At this point, I'm just kind of demolishing. This knife goes hard. Ow! Here you go. Oh, pure lag. Understood. So I, I suppose the best way I can handle this, right, is walk into the lamb fight with more than one HP, touch the lamb just so I proc curse of the tower, and also use the tower card and just watch the sparks fly, have fun. Oh, last chest. Yeah, what a wise way to end it off. Kind of thematic as well. All right, let's try this strategy, right? Let's see how much I can lag the game. Boom, tower, let's see it. Oh, no. One more, just because I feel like it. I'm probably dead. Oh! Oh my god, I barely dodged that brimstone. I forgot I'm on HP. Get me out of here. I'm done. What a cool character. I want to see the rest of them. The repented characters. GG!